couple of trucks are jackknifed between Shelton and Wood River on the interstate. There was another report earlier today of a, a truck on its side. So impacting people that might be wanting to do a little bit of driving today. Yeah, that sounds about right. When I was driving in around the 4 a.m. hour, it was uh, uh, very treacherous conditions. We had, uh, or I had conditions where um, there were I couldn't see past my hood. So whenever you're out in the middle of uh, uh, of the fields in the open there, you're going to see those uh, uh, winds blowing a lot of snow over the next couple of hours this morning. So it's going to be pretty treacherous driving conditions for us. But looking out over Lincoln right now in our Lincoln uh, Tower camera, this is Vine Street right there looking down towards uh, the downtown area. High clouds uh, or, or low clouds around the area, but fortunately no more snow. It's all sort of wrapped up here around the Tri-Cities area. We've not seen any snow since about 5 a.m. a little bit before. Grand Island actually has cleared out all of the clouds. So uh, this is a very fast moving system that's actually going to bring blizzard conditions to parts of uh, Iowa later on. But overall, those winds are going to be sticking around that 30 mile per hour range uh, through most of the day today. Gusts up to around 40. So 31 right now in Hastings, 22 a little less in York, 29 right now in Lincoln. Uh, up to the north, we've got 41, uh, 40 for both Ord and Albion, 41 for Grand Island and Hastings, and 39 miles per hour for a gust in Lincoln right now. Looking on Doppler radar over the last uh, six hours or so this morning, we saw it starting just past midnight this morning, and then it's uh, started to wrap up. We even had some uh, moderate rain across southeastern Nebraska. But looking right now across Lincoln, like I said, it's wrapped up, but you might see just a little bit of some light flurries coming through, uh, blowing pretty quick through. So right now, the Crete area, Hickman, it might just, based on the, uh, the last hour of motion here, it might just uh, skim south of the Lincoln area. But we're going to see even more snow over the next couple of days. So looking through Futurecast here on the wide view, this is the European model. It's been handling uh, most of the snow over the last couple of systems pretty well. So I'm going to trust it. But the thing is, it's a little bit off on the timing at least. But overall, it looks like the main uh, band of snow is going to be across northern Nebraska as we had Saturday into Sunday. This is Sunday around uh, uh, midnight here. So north to north central Nebraska, you're going to be seeing some of the higher snow amounts. But the Tri-Cities are going to still see some. And then into Missouri, another system. So we've got a very active pattern over the next couple of days. And of course, once this all uh, comes through, we've got high pressure air on Tuesday morning. And it's going to be very cold. We're looking at negatives for lows uh, the next couple of days. So through the next several rounds of snow, including the one we just had today with a couple of inches here uh, from Grand Island up to the Fullerton area, about probably one to three inches accumulated from this. But we're likely going to be seeing the uh, best chance for heavy snow, like I said, across northern Nebraska, tapering the farther south you go. Um, but it's still several days out, especially that Sunday system. That's going to be the most uncertain one for right now. Temperatures outside in the mid-20s for us. We're only going to be getting up into the mid-30s for our highs today, a little bit warmer to southwestern Nebraska. But the next couple of days, temperatures are going to start to cool down, and then they really bottom out once that Arctic air sinks into the area. After that double snow system on Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at lows below zero and highs only in the single digits for a couple of days. Alyssa.